All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Maestro Vapes. Today, it is my pleasure to have a Canadian vape legend with me here. We got uh, Eric. Eric is better known as Vapor Chase. Check out his channel on YouTube. And we've got a bunch of his juices that we're gonna be looking at today. Um, so, how did you get into making juice? Like, uh, that's a bit of a long story. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so it started with a guy out west who, he wanted help getting into DIY. Yeah. And I was only into DIY for like four or five months at the time, but, uh, so I started helping with that. Then he got it in his head that he wanted to start a juice company. Right and he wanted my help with them. So I was like, okay, well, fine. And he sent me a bunch of flavorings to come up with recipes and stuff. Yeah. Uh, long story short, it never worked out. He kind of disappeared. I don't know what happened. Yeah. But, uh, so that kind of went down the drain. But I had a few nice DIY recipes that I came up with that, yeah. you know, I liked, so I just kept vaping. Then there was a guy on ECF who emailed, or sent me a PM uh, because he was, he was, he's one of these people that has a really picky palate. Yeah. And not, palette, yeah, guy. and nothing he vaped was really doing it for him. Yeah. But he knew I ha I was a reviewer, so I probably had a lot of different companies' juices, and he wanted, he wanted to know if I could send him some stuff mm -hmm. from different companies, so he didn't have to go around, you know, vendor to vendor to vendor, trying a bunch of stuff that he probably didn't like. Right. So I was happy to do that. I put a bunch of stuff together for him, like a huge bag of just various juices. Yeah. And on top of that, I put a few of my DIYs in there, just because I figured if it happens to be something he likes then I can make more from it, yeah, right? So, sent that off to him, he started tasting all the other juices. They had a vape meat there mm -hmm. a few days after he got the package, and uh, he brought everything with him to the vape meat. And people started trying the juices, and all of a sudden I'm starting to get PMs from people while they're at the vape meat, yeah. saying, hey, this is your juice, like, you should sell these, you yeah. know? Can these I get more from you? Yeah. I'm like... Can you do this yeah, in a 12-mode sure, or whatever, I can, I can right? make you yeah. whatever, right? So, yeah. I, um, I said, sure, whatever, you know, I, the idea of starting a juice company hadn't really occurred to me, mm -hmm. uh, like my own, Yeah. because I had been approached by somebody who wanted to invest in an e company, but I have no patience for dealing with suppliers and stuff. Right, right. So I didn't want to do that, but I thought, well, a juice company, I'm in charge of the quality. I don't have to worry about returns yeah. from crappy mods and stuff. I'm in charge of the quality. I make it myself, so I'm kind of in the process from beginning to end, so I could probably do that. Yeah. So I, I thought, okay, I'll do that. I just have to come up with the startup money, which easier well, said than done. For sure. But uh, it was around March of 2013, Rob from Mad Vapors contacted me and said, hey, a little birdie told me that you wanted to start a vape company, a juice company. I'm like, right. yeah, yeah, I kind of <laughs> do. Uh, I'm just waiting to come up with the startup money, which who knows how long that was going to be. Mm -hmm. But he said he, he wanted to meet with me. He had a proposition. I'm like, okay, so we met. He tried my juice. Um, he provided some startup capital, and we started... I started doing it. That's cool, man. And so I came up with seven flavors, had an eighth about a month later, now I've got 12, and it's just, it's just getting bigger. It just keeps going, right? Yeah. Oh, man, that was super cool having Eric there, like, chilling out and talking to him. I was kind of bummed out because the camera died mid-shoot there, so I just took a little piece of it and kind of threw it as an intro to this video. Thanks to Eric. Like, he sat and talked to me probably for the better part of two hours that day. So thank you so much, Eric, for chilling out with me. I was kind of like nervous when I sat down with that guy. I was kind of like nervous because he's like Canadian YouTube vape legend in my eyes. So it was like, I felt weird. But after, you know, a little while, just the coolest dude to talk to. And uh, it was great. Thank you so much, Eric. Uh, we're looking at his juice line. You can pick up Vapor Chase Brews from vapemeat.ca or madvapors.com, okay? Let's get into it, you know, because this one's probably going to be pretty long. Eric was nice enough, gave me that whole juice line. Like, I think there's a dozen or 13 of them, so I'm probably going to leave a few out, but we're going to do a majority of them, okay? First thing that we're going to look at is his key lime pie, okay? All of these juices are 50 PG, 50 VG. Uh, for the most part, there's six milligram juices that I'm vaping. I'm gonna be dripping them all. Um, but this one is a 12, so I've got it in the k -fun. This was the first thing that I discovered from Vapor Chase Brews, and I really, really dug it. Got it on a box mod. Let's have a hit, let's get into it. This is such a nice, smooth key lime pie. Like I've baked a lot of other ones where they were kind of really heavy on the lime 
or heavy on the crust. And this one is just a really nice in-between. Like it's really, really nice. That's all I can really say about it. It's nice. When I vape it, it's smooth. You get that key lime pie, you get that filling flavor, but you get that graham cracker crust in there and they complement each other really, really well. Um, it tastes like you're biting into key lime pie, you know, and a lot of other juices are not quite like that. They're too heavy on one or the other. And this is just a perfect blend, in my opinion. Perfect blend. Good job, man. Good, good job. I could vape this one all day, and I have. I have. Um, very nice. Try it out. This one's probably one of my favorites. One of my favorites out of the whole line. The throat hit is spot on. For This is a 12 out of a K fun. It's spot on. Like it's there, it's punchy, but it's not overwhelming. So it is a spot on, you know, 12 milligram throat hit that you would expect, okay? Um, vapor production, it's 50-50. You get a decent vapor production. In the K fun, it's not, you know, glorious clouds, but it's, it's nice. I vape this a lot throughout the day. And the flavor just does it for me. Really good juice. Really good juice. Um, is there a description? I think we'll read the description after the fact. So I've got Mad Vapor's website open right now. Um, let me find what we're doing here. Key Lime Pie. What's it say? A signature blend of sweet, lightly tart, real key lime flavor, carefully balanced with a rich graham cracker crust. You may be pleasantly surprised by this one, even if you haven't been a fan of lime flavors in the past. And that's spot on description, spot on description. Uh, the reason why I want to read these after is to see if I'm kind of close, you know, see if I'm kind of close. Uh, let's move forward. I really like that one. Key lime pie, boss juice. Okay. Um, what else do I have? I've got a cryptics built. These are all low resistance. Uh, the K-Fun's a 0.76 ohm build at about 4, four volts-ish on my box mod. This is about 0.1. Like, all of these are going to be really low resistances, except for the last one. But we'll, you know, get into that. This one is the Love Potion number 69, okay? The bottling on these is really nice. Uh, it's got all your warnings, all that stuff. It has a produced on date as well as a best buy date okay um all of these i think were produced at the beginning of august this one was august 3rd 2014 and the best buy date is about a year after the fact so let's see if i can kind of pin this one down this one's really smooth a nice almost creamy type of vape fruit vape uh, fruit man what fruit is this there's a mango going on in there definite mango going on in there um i can't pick out the other one maybe like a dragon fruit or something like that i gotta drip a few drops of this man this is good. This is someone's all day. I guarantee it. Guarantee it. Um, the throat hit on this, it's a six milligram, this one, as all the rest of them are. Six milligram is not super punchy, but it's there. You know, it's, it's nice. Let me pull up the description on this one. Wow. It's good. And it has solid vapor production. For a 50-50, it plumes really well. All right, Love Potion number 69. What's it saying? A sensuous blend of sweet, tangy mango. Okay, pin that mango down. 
and light floral passion fruit. Ah, passion fruit will seduce your mouth as berry white plays in your head with each vape. It is nice. Like this one is just great to kick back and vape on. Solid juice. Solid juice. Try that one. Key lime pie. Both really, really good. What are we going to move on to? I'm going to do another fruity one right now. What do we got? I've got the uh, Doge Atomizer. And this has Cream of Win in it. Okay. I'm going to open the page for Cream of Win, but I'm not going to look at it yet. All right. Uh, drip a couple of drops. Once again, labeling. Similar, different photographs of, you know, what the uh, what the product description is, I guess. Something like that. Cream of Win. It looks like a peach on the front, okay? It smells creamy. This one smells creamy, even. Oh, yeah, it's creamy. This plumes well, too. 50-50, these are pluming very well. Is it a peach? I don't I don't know. Mango peachiness, kind of like that furriness that you get. You know, like a peach has that furriness on the outside. Kind of gives me that. Peach or mango creamy vape. Nice vape, man. This one is a nice vape. I gotta drip a little bit more of this. I love these dropper bottles too with that needle tip. So it's great if you're filling up your K fund, something like that. Really great bottles. Plastic bottles. It's good, man. And once again, it's just right. Like the flavors blend together just right. And the flavor is there. Like it is there on all of these juices. Like it's not weak by any means. But it's not overpowering, like uh, like chemical tasting at all. It's just, it's there. You know, I dig it. What's this one say? Oh, I was way off on that one. Tangy Nectarine, which I guess I'm kind of mixing up with a mango or that peach thing there. Tangy Nectarine with rich jackfruit. Frolic in a pool of Bavarian cream. Naked. Wow. Bavarian cream. That's a good vape, man. A lot of times when I vape Bavarian cream, it comes off really, really strong, you know? And this one is not, you know? That fruit kind of pumps out, and that Bavarian cream is kind of in the backdrop. This is a nice vape. Very, very nice vape. Let's go to another one. I'll open up the page, but I won't look at it. I'm going to go to Morning Dew next, okay? What atomizer do I have for this one? This one I've got the uh, Patriot, this version 2. Once again, it's built low. Uh, bottling, same, same, different picture. Okay, Morning Dew. I remember when I talked to Eric about this one, he was saying it's a grapefruit mix. So I kind of know that, you know, so kind of gives it away. Plus there's a picture of uh, lemon and lime on it. So, you know, my assumption is going to be grapefruit, lemon, lime. <laughs> Wow. I've vaped this already and I dug it and I was having a hard time because like, I've held on to this for over a month and didn't want to vape it, didn't want to vape it. And now I'm finally getting around to it and it's so good. Actually, I'm going to switch some water here just so the flavors don't get skewed by the last one. Once again, great flavor. This one feels like it doesn't plume as well as the others. It's got that citrus kind of throat hit that you get. A lot of times if you vape like a citrus or a pineapple or something like that, it gives you that kind of punch in the back of your throat. This one has it, you know, for a six milligram. It might feel like it hits more like, you know, nine milligram, something like that. Maybe not quite, but somewhere in there, you know, a little bit more throat hitty than the other ones um but that grapefruit pounces out at me pounces out at me it's nice 
And these vapes are all really smooth, man. It actually plumes okay. It plumes like a 50-50 liquid should on this one. Digging the flavor. Kind of sweet, kind of a breakfast vape, you know? Kind of feels like you're digging into a grapefruit with some sugar on it. Really nice vape. I dig, this is one of my favorites. Definitely. This, the Key Lime Pie. I love Potion Number 9. It's pretty good as well. I did tell you about the Morning Dew on here. A refreshing, mildly sweet and tart citrus blend of lemon, lime, and grapefruit that will get you up in the morning and cool you down on a summer day. Bang on descriptions. These descriptions are awesome. I dig this one a lot. I dig this Morning Dew a lot, man. Like, I'm going to go through that rest of that bottle today. Guaranteed. Yeah, it's perfect. Great blend. Once again, great blend of flavors. I, I think that Vapor Chase brews are kind of underrated. I think that, you know, they should be, you know, out there a little bit more than they are. This guy should be selling a ton of this juice. Ton. Uh, where are we going here? I'm going to save that one. going to save that one as well. I'm going to get into... This atomizer is the tugboat, okay? Got it drilled out. The next flavor is going to be peppermint gumball. Let me see if I can find that. Open up the page. Don't look at it. But, you know, it's, it's pretty much a giveaway for what it's going to be. I'm just going to drip through the drip tip here. I've already got these all kind of saturated, but I want to make sure they don't dry out. Peppermint. Um, I'm not always a minty kind of fan or mentholated fan, but when I first tried this, I really liked it. I really, really liked it. Let me have another swish of water. Ah, all right, get rid of the uh, grapefruit lemon lime. She's minty. She's pepperminty. It's a cool vape, but not an overly cool vape, you know? It's just nice. If you like mint, if you dig peppermint, um, you're going to like this one. It plumes decent. And the throat hit is more like a peppermint, like a mint throat hit, as opposed to like a, like a PG or maybe a nicotine throat hit that you get. It's a, it's a peppermint throat hit. Like very cooling on the inhale and nice and smooth on the exhale. Um, one more hit. When I inhale this, I get that peppermint taste. But on the exhale, obviously I get peppermint on the exhale, but I get gumball. Like, remember when you're a kid and you used to take, you know, the quarter and put it in one of those machines with the little turn key and one of those big gumballs would drop out. Maybe it was red or blue or whatever it is. And you'd have that color all over your lips and teeth and tongue and whatever. When you're a kid, that's exactly what it is. It's a gumball, like one of those sweet gumballs with a peppermint kit to it, which is really neat. Like, it's really neat. Yeah, I dig this one, and I didn't think that I would. I really didn't think that I would on this one, but uh, it's good. It's very good. Wow. And once again, he just puts it together really nicely. You know, it's not too, too much peppermint, and it's not too much gumball. They just kind of go together hand in hand, and they're just in there just Barry White you know Barry White's playing you know somewhere I put it on my channel but you know they get flagged <laughs> I've got a couple flags anyway from old videos that I did peppermint gumball this one's nice man really nice the color of this one's kind of pinkish like it's got that you know menthol kind of color to it you know I usually get them what am I gonna do okay I'm gonna do another minty one this one's great white north 
The picture on the front of it has Bob and Doug McKenzie, and uh, it's pretty cool. I, for the photograph alone, this one is super minty, man. Super minty. So I've got a cardamizer going. How's this cardamizer going to work on this guy? Maybe I should put it on the box mod and then I could adjust it because this is like a 2 ohm load. Be nice to put maybe 4.5 volts to this. Let's get that juicy. That might be a little too juicy. I actually got a bunch of cardos because I was going to shoot this whole thing with cardamizers. And then I'm just like, I started thinking, you know what? That's not my style. Like, it's so not my style. And uh, that's weird. I didn't even read the description from the last one. Sorry, guys. Um, peppermint gumball. We'll go back to it. Um, remember those gumball machines that dispense those hard colored gumballs? Yes. <laughs> remember the peppermint ones? Here they are in vape form. That sweet and indiscernible fruity, bum fruity bubble gum base topped off with cool peppermint. Nostalgia is delicious. Now, I didn't remember the peppermint gumballs, but I did remember the sweet ones. So, yeah, it's exactly what it is, man. Exactly what it is. Um, Great White North. Let's go back to that one. I apologize for that. Um, not going to read it. Very minty on this one, though. So, the mintiness, I couldn't put it into a dripper at a low load. There was just no way. I tried. I tried, and it's like, <gasps> just takes my breath away because it's, it's that strong under 0.1 ohm. Um, maybe if you're vaping at around 0.7, something like that, you could probably get away with it, but, uh, it's minty. I'll tell you that it's cold. It's Arctic cold from up North. Oh, I don't have bottom airflow. That was smart, man. <laughs> okay. So we're going to put it on the box. All right. So put it on the box. The box is probably set to about four and a half. 4.8, something like that, is the uh, voltage on this guy. Make sure it's firing. Is it firing or is it not firing? It's not firing well. Okay, I gotta find something to adjust this. Here, there we go. It's minty. It is minty. I don't know if there's a peppermint, spearmint, menthol, everything kind of thrown in here, but it's minty. But it's kind of sweet as well. So it's it's actually pretty decent. And honestly, I don't know how well it plumes. Maybe well for a two ohm load. I don't know. It's been a while. But it's it's definitely too minty for me to vape at a super low resistance. You know, it is. Um it's nice. Like if you're into minty vapes, you are going to dig it. Um, I like the flavor of it. I like the flavor. It's just that cooling sensation is just over the top for me. It's over the top for me. But if you're really into minty vapes and, and menthol vapes and stuff like that, you're going to dig this one. You're definitely going to dig this one. Let me read a little bit about it. You know, Bob and Doug McKenzie, that just had me rolling on the floor. Good day, eh? Our topic today is colder than cold, and the great white north is like this intensely cold peppermint vape, eh? So take off to the great white north. That's exactly what it says. Um, yeah, it is colder than cold. It is a chilly, chill vape. Um, if you like it, you're going to like it. Uh, for me, little too minty, little too cold, you know? I, uh, I prefer the summers up here in Canada as opposed to the winters, but... You know, that's just me. Um, where am I going next here? Where am I going? Okay, I'm going to go to Mechanical Turk. Okay, so Mechanical Turk is obviously a tobacco blend. It's a Turkish tobacco blend. I'm going to put this uh, 
you know what? I'm going to go back to my tube mod and get this guy going. Make sure this is okay. Juice it up a bit. Give it a shake. I'm not a big tobacco guy. I was. When I started vaping and I had an ego kit, I was a tobacco guy. Um, but you know what? My taste changed. My taste changed as I got away from smoking cigarettes. So it's, it's less and less for me. Get rid of that minty. So it was less and less for me, you know, for tobacco flavors. Um, he has another one as well. It's Honeywood Tobacco, which is a nice sweet tobacco. I tried it and I liked it. I liked it. And uh, I figured for the purpose of this video, I would shoot the Mechanical Turk because I tried that one and I thought it was good, but tobacco isn't for me. And uh, I was pleasantly surprised by this one. Pleasantly surprised to the utmost, okay? Let me have a vape here. Wow. Just a nice, sweet, creamy, almost, type of uh, tobacco vape. Pleasantly surprised by Mechanical Turk. Like, really surprised that I like this one. Uh, one more hit. The throat hit on this is not killer. It's pretty smooth, like six milligram, but uh, the throat hit is not super strong. And I like that about this juice. And the taste is just, it's nice. Like it coats your mouth with a really nice, sweet Turkish tobacco blend. That's all I got to say about this one. Wow, pleasantly surprised, man. Wow. Okay, let me read the description on this guy. It is nice, my man. Um, description reads, Rich, dark Turkish pipe tobacco is tempered by a slightly sweet, flu-cured as threads of nuttiness weave throughout, making for a warm, comforting vape, perfect for cold winter evenings by the fireplace. Nuttiness. That's what it is. Wow. Yeah, the nuttiness gives it this kind of creamy thing going on almost. It's weird. I'm kind of freaked out by this. Yeah, that's a nice flavor, man. It's hard to discern what type of nut flavor is in there. Because the the flu cured tobacco is in the forefront. It's in the forefront, but it has this nice kind of nutty exhale. And I dig this. Wow. Okay, tobacco vapes, not for me, but this one, if you're into tobacco vapes, Mechanical Turk. Oh, wow. Wow. Kind of freaked me out. Kind of freaked me out. Um, he gave me another one that I haven't seen on other websites yet. It's one that, you know, I think that he's played with and he's kind of releasing. You might see it soon. Maybe you won't. I don't know. Um, but... It's called Cafe Noir, okay? And I'm a big coffee, coffee. <laughs> I'm a big coffee fan. Like, I like dark coffees. I like strong coffees, like espresso. And I like, you know, Narnux kind of coffee, stuff like that. Rhymes with Narnux. Uh, I dig it. So I, I wasn't sure that I'd like this coffee vape because... I haven't found a good coffee vape that I really dig. Um, it's hard for me to find. But uh, this was probably the first juice out of his line that I tried. He told me, you know, this one's unreleased. I haven't, you know, done anything with it. Hopefully I'm not kind of giving it away or anything by, you know, putting this in the video 
And uh, if I am, I apologize for that. But uh, maybe I shouldn't do this one. Well, I've gone too far already. But uh, let me have a vape off this one. Okay, tobacco is still kind of sitting on my tongue. But that tobacco is nice, man. Toba that mechanical turf is nice. All of these juices that I kind of picked out were things that I tried. Well, except the mechanical turk I kind of just tasted on my hand a little bit, like a dab just to see. But yeah, pleasantly surprised by that one. Um, Cafe Noir, dark coffee. Wow. Wow. That's all I gotta say. Wow. Like this is the nicest dark coffee flavor I've tried. Okay. Um, I've tried some other ones and was not a big fan. But uh, yeah, this Cafe Noir is something else. It is out of this world. It's so smooth and nice. It's like in the, you know, in the morning, sometimes I'll have a coffee and then I want to have another one. And sometimes I'll have that second one. And it's like a little bit too much caffeine overload for me. And then I'm like a jittery mess. Some of my other videos I've kind of built after a couple when it's like, what a mess that video was. <laughs> but um, if I had the one coffee, I could be like vaping this on the way to work. And still feel satisfied you know it's it's kind of weird but it's good it's such a good vape nice dark coffee that's all I gotta say Wow Wow what's good um I wonder if it's on this website wonder if it's on mad vapors website I hope it is. I really hope that it is. Because this one is not, it's not, it's not on here. Um, I hope Mad Vapors picks this up. I hope that vapemeat.ca picks this one up because I dig it. And if you like coffee vapes, um, you're going to like this. I'm not sure if he sells this like on Facebook or on his, uh, on any other group. Maybe he does. He probably he has to, right? Um, if you're watching this, comment below and uh i'll put links to everything like to you know his facebook and all that stuff if you want to check him out his youtube channel all that stuff um but this cafe noir just kind of blows my head off like it is that good a couple other ones i didn't really get into here the honeywood tobacco like i already mentioned because we did the mechanical turk um the mocha nilla latte I didn't do because I just, I like this Cafe Noir so much. Like so much, I just felt that it couldn't be outdone. And you outdid yourself on this Cafe Noir. Like it is fantastic. The flavor is amazing. Um, what else didn't I touch on? The cinnamon chai. So the cinnamon chai is a cinnamon chai tea. Um, and I liked it. I vaped some of it and I really dug it. But I'm kind of on this cinnamon thing where I vaped a lot of cinnamon based stuff and it actually it almost harshes me out a little bit like in my throat and uh, when I vape it it's just for me it's just too much right now maybe in a couple months I could go back to that and vape it and really dig it but the flavor on the cinnamon chai was also really good really really good um, pretty much I've touched on mostly everything else I think Juice pear was another one I did not do. I'm just not a fan of pear in the forefront. Um, if there's a backdrop of pear with some other stuff, I could get into it. But yeah, I'm, I'm not a pear guy. If you like it, you might like the juice pear. Um, what else was there? Cinnamon chai. We already talked about that mocha nilla latte. Uh, dark choco mint. Okay. Um, dark choco mint. I'm not huge into dark chocolate nor minty chocolate either so i felt like i couldn't do that juice justice you know i felt like i couldn't do it justice so 
that one's out of it. But I want to thank Eric for, you know, shooting me his whole line because I originally emailed him and I said, you know what, I do YouTube videos and, you know, here's a link to my YouTube channel. Um, check it out. I would like to review your juice line because I tried the key lime pie and I really liked it. Um, he got back to me. It was a while later because I think I got marked spam, something like that. Um, because I put a link to my YouTube channel in the comment. It was actually a YouTube comment, direct message. Uh, but he got back to me. And at that point, it was like three weeks later. And I was kind of thinking like, wow, he didn't even say no. <laughs> like I wrote the email like, if you don't want to, I understand you're busy and whatever. But he did get back to me and I was like, oh, wow, cool. You know, and he was all for it. And super cool guy. And we met up at Vape Cam like you saw at the beginning of the video. And just a really nice, genuine, humble dude, you know, and I really like his style. His videos are smart. Um, if you haven't checked them out, it's Vapor Chase right here on YouTube. And the juice is Vapor Chase Brews, and you can get it at vapemeat.ca and madvapors.com. Thank you, Eric, for letting me do this video. You know, shoot me all these juices like that. That's really cool. Like, I, I, feel humbled by the whole experience, you know, like it's really, really cool. Um, check out the juices. I'm sure there's something that you could find that you like because pretty much everything that I tried, I liked, like the flavor is there and the flavor on them is nice. Like it is, it's, I don't want to say strong because sometimes strong can get skewed to, you know, it's overpowering, but a lot of juices that you try are kind of underpowering. Do you know what I mean? And uh, they're not just, re they're not there completely. And I find sometimes when I've, you know, been vaping the same thing and you get vapor's tongue and everything kind of starts to taste blah with vapor chase brews, you can kind of, you know, re-wick and, you know, drip a couple of drops and boom, you're back, you're back. And you know, even if you do go back to something else, it's, it just picks everything back up and your tongue just goes back to normal again. So the juice is really nice. Um, kudos. Uh, I'm going to have a vape of this Cafe Noir and take it out like I usually do. Um, wow. A couple of drops here. I love this juice. Like I don't love a lot of juices, but this one, I want some more. I don't know. How I'm gonna find it? I'm going to find it though. All right, so Cafe Noir and I are out. Like I always say, guys, butt out, vape up, and breathe easy. Know your limits and vape within it, and you are gonna have a stellar day, my friends. It's been a long video, but thanks for chilling out with me. Vapor Chase Brews, man. Very good stuff. Okay, one more thing, one more thing. Um, because Eric was kind enough to give me all of his juices, the whole line free of charge, I want to pay it forward. So what I'm going to do is, if you email me at maestrovapes at gmail.com, I will send you his whole line, this whole line of juice, I will send it to you. But you have to answer a question, okay? And the question's gonna be simple. And, you know, it's as of today's date that this video was posted, um, it's gonna be, what was the name of Vapor Chase's last video? That's it, simple. What's the name of his last video that he published on YouTube and you can have the whole line? Well, I might keep two of them maybe three of them and you can have the rest so you can try it out as well um and that's just for the subscribers on this channel okay so if you're subscribed to this channel as of today's date um if you're watching this video and it's like december 2014 or march of 2015 it's probably already done okay but yeah just send me an email what his last video was and you can have his whole line of juice okay so thanks for watching guys i'll see you on the next one all the best guys all right take it easy